What's up, y'all? Isaac, Blue Collar Training. Here, me and Daniel about to show you a little arm workout that we can do. It's gonna be about three to four sets each, like 10 to 15 repetitions. Just have fun, work hard, go at it. A couple things about me, my qualifications for... Qualifications. Teaching. Yeah, qualifications. I uh, got a bachelor's degree of science in kinesiology, and I was pre-med back in college, so I know my stuff when it comes to the human body. I literally have a degree in human movement and overall health sciences. I've also been a personal trainer for about, how long now, almost four years. Yeah. Certified. Certified. <laughs> <laughs> but sports and being active, physical activity all my life. Uh, back in college, I'd rather go to the gym than go to any party, so that tells you something about me. Uh, I've been lifting weights since I was like 14 years old when I was getting ready for high school football. And once I uh, moved on from that, about the end of my junior year, beginning of the senior year, I got more into bodybuilding. So I've actually been doing stuff like this for, I think, seven years now. Learned a lot. A lot of trial and error, including with supplements, with nutrition, with workouts, training, principles, the whole gist of it. Basically, walking. Bulking. Walk, yeah. Bulking, cutting. Shredding. Training, sports training. I even trained uh, D1 athletes when I was an uh, intern at uh, Oh, yeah, Sports that's training. right. Yeah. yeah, I have experience with training Division One athletes, learning their workouts and how they get ready for game day and everything like that. So, I know my stuff. I got a good looking resume when it comes to health and fitness. Know your stuff. Know your stuff. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not anything like that. I'm a certified personal trainer, but besides that, no. So, first off, we have cable pushdowns. This right here is with the easy bar. You can use easy bar. You can do regular straight bar. You can do the rope push down. Each one of those is going to hit a different part of your tricep. And it also depends on how you do the movement itself. Like, for example, if I have my arms in, my elbows in nice and close, that's going to work mostly the back side of the triceps. That long head that goes straight from back here, past your shoulder, down to your elbow. That's a that's big meat, big meaty part of the triceps. If you want to get big arms, train that. So if you want to do that, elbows are pointed straight at the ground, keeping them in nice and tight towards my body. And I'm contracting, squeezing every time I do the rep. So right here, elbows pointed down, and I'm squeezing each time I do the rep. And notice also, I'm not going past really the 90 degree mark with my arms. Otherwise, I'm just putting more stress on the tendon than I am actually working the muscle. You want that time under tension. The more time you have working the muscle, the better. Squeezing all the way through. This guy right here, that's what you're going to be working if you keep your elbows in like that. If you want to work more of the lateral head, which is this guy, that other part of the horseshoe, have your elbows go a little bit wider. So my elbows are pointed out here and I'm pushing down. And when I come, I'm bringing my elbows in towards the center. So I face this way. If you look, my hands are going up and down. They're staying in the line. Just up and down. My elbows are the ones that are moving. Squeezing it each rep. You're gonna still feel a little bit in your long head, but it's gonna focus a little bit more on that lateral head than it would keeping your elbows in. Lateral head's important if you want to get that wide look to your arms. All right, so this next movement is going to be uh, assisted dips. So the way you want to do these is, if it has the ability to adjust on the outer or the inner, right here, put it on the inner setting. And make sure, just make sure your hands are, are in the same placement and just get in a comfortable position to where you can focus all of your weight onto the triceps. And then just get in that, just get in a ready position, position and try to get in a position where you're flexing your triceps. And when you're coming down, try to come down slowly and really put the tension on the muscle, on the tricep muscle itself. And then when you're coming up, just kind of same thing. So you want to keep, really keep the tension on the triceps and really just focus on putting that all of the weight that you can onto the tricep muscle instead of the your pecs because it's very easy to transition between chest and triceps in this movement. I usually shoot for about 10 to 15 reps on this movement um, 
and for the weight, if you do decide to do assisted, just go for a weight that you feel comfortable with. Just a uh, weight that, if you're fatigued or if you have more energy, go more or less. If, if you need more weight on there, it's fine. Just focus on the muscle. Okay, next exercise we got is called skull crushers. This is a movement that you're going to feel a lot in the long head of the tricep and the medial head of the tricep. Two muscles right here in the back side of your arm. The way you do this, it's really just personal preference. You can go, we have the easy bars here also. So they give you a nice curved grip so that way your wrist will get screwed up. So you can go close grip, you can go wide grip, whatever works best for you, wherever you feel it better with. So the way to do this, pop it up. You're going to have arms straight here. And for me, if I'm trying to go heavier weight, less reps, maybe like 10 reps, I'll go with this range of motion, what people are used to seeing. Elbows pointed straight at the ceiling, going down, down towards my head, around my forehead. So if I'm trying to go a little bit higher reps, more volume, make it a little bit more intense all around the workout, I'll have my elbows pointed back here a little bit. And right here, I'm not doing cheat reps, those come at the end of the set. Right here, I'm keeping the strain on the triceps all the way through. Because in here, we have a little bit of a rest here because it's resting on your shoulder joints. But if you come back here, elbows staying back, and you're trying to squeeze, the entire time, the stress is on the triceps. It's a stretch, stretch, all around tension. Ah, but the movement, and you're trying to go back away towards your body. So you're trying to hit the back side of the wall right where the corner meets, if you can imagine that, to hit the triceps as best you can with this movement. So. Okay, so this next exercise is gonna be hammer curls. And this exercise is, I feel like it's really neglected by beginners because it's basically the same thing as a curl, but instead of coming upward with your with wrist twisted horizontally. Supinated. Supinated horizontally. Palms okay. facing up. Whatever you want to call it. All you're doing is bringing it up, bending the elbows, bringing it back down, switching arms, or you can do it at the same time. I recommend doing one at a time just so you can really focus on the muscle. So what these do is they really focus on the biceps, but not only on the biceps, but the brachialis as well. And the brachialis is that muscle that's right in between the tricep and the bicep, and it connects your forearm as well. So it's gonna be hitting all that, that large muscle group right there. It's gonna be working on your grip. It's gonna be building the biceps. And it's actually, if you get a good amount of weight, it could be rather difficult, especially if you don't have very much grip strength, but just try to push out as many as you can anyway. And the thing you want to remember for any curl is really focus on not swinging the weight. Because if you're going to start swinging the weight and bringing it up like that, you're going to start working your shoulders a lot more than your biceps. So, so when you start coming up, stand in a ready position and then just bend your elbows, bring it up, and come up as far as you possibly can without moving your shoulders. So you wanna keep your shoulders right here, and if this is as far as you can go, that's perfect. Then just come back down, up, down, up, down. The only thing that should be moving is your, is your elbow. Nothing else on your upper extremity should be moving. All right, next exercise for biceps, I want to show you guys is something called spider curls. Why they're called spider curls? I don't know. But it's because it looks it looks like you're crawling, it's like, like a, a spider. I didn't know that. Eh, okay. But spider curls, uh, they have your elbows pointed straight at the ground, a starting position. And I do chest supported, that way I can focus everything on the biceps. I'm not having to worry about my lower back, my core, or anything like that. It's just plain biceps pure biceps. So you're gonna start down here. I never let my arms straighten out on this movement, otherwise it puts more stress on the tendon than the actual muscle. I keep it here, this is as far down as I go. I come up, I bring them together at the top, and back down. 
Back up and back down. I come about three quarters of the way up from a straight position, right about to here is as far as I go. Otherwise, if you go too far up, you're just stretching out your shoulders and you're losing all the stress on the biceps. Time under tension is key. So coming up here. And I'm keeping my elbows in, tucked nice and tight into the bench. It's putting more pressure on the biceps, making it the pump that much more intense. And this movement is supposed to focus on the long head of the bicep. You're bringing it in to the middle. Because there's two different heads to the biceps. That's why it's called biceps. Two heads. So right in here is where they break. This right here is a short head. This right here is a long head. The long head is mostly worked and movements that come towards the middle, towards the center line of your body. So anything coming in, anything close grip, anything coming in towards the center, that works more here. That's that peak muscle. Makes it look like you got big arms. That's a four year bachelor's degree at work. All right, this last exercise is gonna be easy bar curls. It's basically the same concept as the, we did with the hammer curls. Just start in the ready position and start coming up and, and just go as high up as you possibly can without moving your shoulders. So for me, it's right about here. I know that doesn't look all the way high, all, like all too high, but that's the maximum contraction of my bicep. So that's why I stay. And you just want to try to get about anywhere between 10 to 15 reps, as many as possible. And just make sure you're keeping your form and just try to go as hard as you possibly can with perfect form. That is the end of the workout. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be sure to come back next time. We'll have some more training videos, more supplement videos, nutrition videos, plenty more to come. Like, comment, subscribe, the whole gist that YouTubers say at the end of their videos and all that junk. Anything you want to say? If you don't like me, tell me on the comments. But if you do, then... You're rare.